So this video is about uh, the replacement of the, uh, the parts that are required uh, annually on the Easy One Pro. The Easy One Pro requires very little maintenance, but one of the things you must do annually is replace these parts. And when you purchase the kit from us, it's going to come to you looking like this. Uh, it's basically four parts, a filter pack, the one-way valve, an overpressure valve, and a patient tube. And in the box comes also an instruction sheet on how to do what I'm about to show you, as well as a label to put on the rear of the device to remind you in a year from now that you need to uh, replace these parts again. Okay, so the first part we're going to replace is the overpressure valve. It sits right here on the DLCO valve assembly, and it pops off quite simply like that. So I take the new valve, and you'll notice that there is a notch on, on this assembly that matches up with a notch there. So you simply match up those two notches, snap that down nice and tight. The next part we're going to replace is the one-way valve. It's this uh, purple item here. It takes kind of about an eighth of a turn. You pull that off. Take the new valve, just reinstall. At the end of the day, these two little arrows should be lined up. Okay, the next part is the patient tube, this corrugated tube. And uh, I want you to point out that uh, the, the white nut is on the end that matches the white of the DLCO valve, and the purple nut goes on the device side. They're labeled or they're colored for that purpose. So this is uh, pretty easy. You disconnect, unscrew the nut, go to the device, unscrew the nut, remove the tube. Okay, you have the new tube here. Uh, there is a, a nipple there that needs to line up in there, so you want to make sure that is in nice and snug. Before you tighten the nut down, but notice again the purple nut goes against the purple coloring of the device. And on the DLCO valve, the white nut matches up to the DLCO valve. The next part is uh, the filter pack assembly, which is on the rear of the device. Uh, all that's required to remove and replace this is uh, a Phillips head screwdriver. It's one, one screw is all that's required to remove this part. I'm going to unscrew this Phillips head. And then the filter pack pops right off. And then the new filter pack lines right up. Again, single screw. Don't need to over tighten. Okay, we've provided for you on the instruction a label that we'd like you to um, adhere to the device. We've put a date on there a year off from when you purchased the kit, and we recommend that you put that label right here on the device when you're done replacing the parts. Now, we'll remind you a year from now that you need to do a similar operation. We also recommend that when you're done with all this, you do a test DLCO on yourself uh, to make sure that all the parts came together correctly and that uh, your device is ready to go.